video will be about gallstones. Gallstones occur most commonly in people with the five F's, which are fat, female, 40 for age, fertile, meaning multiple pregnancies, and First Nations, meaning Native American. Cholelithiasis is essentially just gallstones in the gallbladder. It can be symptomatic or asymptomatic and results from yellow cholesterol stones common in people with the five F's or pigmented stones common in chronic hemolyzers such as patients with sickle cell or spherocytosis. The symptomatic patient will have colicky right upper quadrant abdominal pain for no more than about four hours. The pain may radiate to the shoulder and may be preceded by a fatty meal. They may also have nausea and vomiting. Diagnosis is made by right upper quadrant ultrasounds showing stones in the gallbladder and treatment is by elective cholecystectomy. Non-surgical candidates may have some relief with ursodeoxycholic acid. Cholecystitis is caused by obstruction of the cystic duct. The patient will have a fever. Their right upper quadrant pain will be constant. They will have a positive Murphy sign and their right upper quadrant ultrasound may show pericholecystic fluid and gallbladder thickening. If ultrasound is not enough to make the diagnosis, a HIDA scan will show a filling defect of the gallbladder. CBC may show leukocytosis. To treat, make the patient NPO, give IV fluids, begin IV antibiotics such as ceftriaxone and metronidazole for gram negatives and anaerobes. The patient should undergo cholecystectomy urgently. If the patient is a poor surgical candidate, cholecystotomy may be performed. Cholidocolithiasis is obstruction of the common bile duct by a stone. The patient will have right upper quadrant pain and a positive Murphy sign. They may have jaundice and fever as well. Again, you will start with a right upper quadrant ultrasound, which will show dilated ducts. MRCP can be used if ultrasound is not conclusive. Labs may show leukocytosis and elevated liver enzymes, as well as an elevated amylase or lipase. You will again make the patient NPO and start IV fluids and antibiotics. Options in addition to ceftriaxone and metronidazole include piptazo and ampicillin sulbactam. Treatment usually includes ERCP initially followed by cholecystectomy, but cholecystectomy may also be used as primary therapy. However, the surgeon will need to remove the obstructing stone during surgery. Cholangitis, also known as ascending cholangitis, is an ascending infection due to obstruction from a common bile duct stone. The most common bug is E. coli, but again, this is usually a gram-negative bacteria, including E. coli or Klebsiella or an anaerobe. The patient will present with Charcot's triad of fever, right upper quadrant pain, and jaundice. They will look very sick. If they begin to progress to sepsis, they will have Charcot's triad plus altered mental status and hypotension, which is called Reynolds Pentad. Right upper quadrant ultrasound will again show dilation of the ducts. You will not have time for MRCP or a HIDA scan. Labs will show leukocytosis and elevated liver and pancreatic enzymes. Again, you will make the patient NPO, give IV fluids, and start antibiotics. You will go to ERCP emergently, and then urgently go to cholecystectomy. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Remember, if you don't want to miss it, look below and click it.